Warning. The following program is rated TVMA. Viewer discretion is advised. Succubus. Succubus. The word is derived from late Latin succuba. The word succubus originates from the late 14th century as depicted in the Jewish mystical work Zohar and the medieval rabbinical text alphabet of Ben Sira. Lilith was Adam's first wife, who later became a succubus. She left Adam and refused to return to the Garden of Eden after she made it with the archangel Samael. In Zoharistic Kabbalah, there were four succubi who made it with the archangel Samael. There were four original queens of the demons, Lilith, Isith, Agrat Bat Malat, and Nama. A succubus may take a form of a beautiful young girl, but closer inspection may reveal deformities of her body, such as bird-like claws or serpentine tails. Folklore also describes the act of sexually penetrating a succubus as akin to entering a cavern of ice, and there are reports of succubi forcing men to perform cunnilingus on their vulvas, which drip urine and other fluids. In later folklore, a succubus took the form of a siren. Throughout history, priests and rabbis, including Hanina ben Dosa and Abbey, tried to curb the power of succubi over humans. However, not all succubi were malevolent. According to Walter Mapp in the satire De Nuges Carillion, Pope Sylvester II was allegedly involved with a succubus named Meridiana, who helped him achieve his high rank in the Catholic Church. Before his death, he confessed of his sins and died repentant. According to the Kabbalah and the school of Rashba, the original three queens of the demons, Agrat Badmalat, Nama, Isid Zenu, and all their cohorts give birth to children, except Lilith. According to other legends, the children of Lilith are called Lilim. According to the Melius Maleficarum, or Witch's Hammer, written by Heinrich Kramer in 1486, succubi collect semen from men they seduce. Incubi, or male demons, then use the semen to impregnate human females thus explaining how demons could apparently sire children, despite the traditional belief that they were incapable of reproduction. Children so begotten, Cambians, were supposed to be those that were born deformed or more susceptible to supernatural influences. While the book does not address why a human female impregnated with the semen of a human male would not produce regular human offspring. An explanation could be that the semen is altered before being transferred to the female host. However, in some lore, the child is born deformed because the conception was unnatural. King James, in his dissertation titled Demonology, refutes the possibility for angelic entities to reproduce and instead offered a suggestion that a devil would carry out two other methods of impregnating women. In Arabian mythology, the Karana is a spirit similar to the succubus, with origins possibly in ancient Egyptian religion or in the animistic beliefs of pre-Islamic Arabia. A Karana sleeps with the person and has relations during sleep as is known by the dreams. They are said to be invisible, but a person with second sight can see them, often in the form of a cat, dog, or other household pet. In Am Durman, it is a spirit which possesses. Only certain people are possessed and such people cannot marry, or the Kirana will harm them. To date, many African myths claim 
that men who have similar experience with such principality in dreams find themselves exhausted as soon as they awaken, often claiming spiritual attack upon them. Local rituals, divination, are often invoked in order to appeal the God for divine protection and intervention. In modern representations, a succubus may or may not appear in dreams and is often depicted as a highly attractive seductress or enchantress, whereas in the past, succubi were generally depicted as frightening or demonic. Religious traditions hold that repeated sexual activity with a succubus may result in the deterioration of health or mental state or even death. The succubus is indeed a force to be reckoned with.